Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Glassjaw Deathclaw. And this morning we're actually doing episode one of Zombie Army 4 Dead War. And here we go. On the, radio. I don't uh, like the, the weapons I'm starting out with are not that. stock weapons, these are actually heavily modified. Playing this game a lot since I got it a while back. So here we go. Uh, let's have a little bit of fun with the rifle here. See if I can get a multi kill going. Hold off on that. There we go. Oh. Miss missed my opportunity again. These two are to line up. Yeah, I might actually be able to get a double off that, but I kind of doubt it. Oh, nice. I did end up getting a double off that. I'm sure I was going to be able to, but... It's going to be a lot of bullet cams. Because I set it up so the... Bullet cams will happen more often. Might actually get another double right there. Yeah, if, if that wasn't a double, I don't know what was. I'm gonna do something a little bit loot. See if I can get you guys a nut shot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can. Oh! Right, right, <laughs> right in the Franken beans. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot that guy in the ass because I'm just, I'm just being mean. <laughs> I already blew that one zombie junk off, so let's, let's finish the job. Yeah, and I'm intentionally attacking the guys on the ground that way they can't rise up when I walk over there. Yeah, it's gonna be a single, but it'll probably have be an explosive kill too. Yep, that guy got knocked down. Yeah, we're we're knocking him dead. Yeah, like that that guy was just laying there, kind of. Waiting to spring a trap on me. But he failed. They usually do. Yeah. It's uh, cool that you don't have to get, um... You don't have to get headshots in order to kill him, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Anybody out? Oh, I think we got. Uh, yeah, this must have been one of the guys that popped earlier. Well, let's make him disappear. Then <coughs> <coughs> you'll notice the pistol, uh, when it fires, doesn't sound quite normal. Yeah, that's because it's, it's firing uh, ch charge up rounds. Which, uh,. They're blessed rounds, so they do a boatload of damage. We refill our ammos. It's always a good idea to refill your ammo whenever you get the chance. I'll talk to Bruno right quick. What took you so long, huh? Yeah. we'd have to leave without. Yeah, nobody cares what we have to say, Bruno. I've heard this a million times. And you guys in the audience don't want to hear that guy talking. You guys want to see me slaughter ah, some zombies. So. You see the radio yeah, okay. marks. Here we go. Damn usks are all over it. And this guy's going to get his brain blown out. Still, maybe. Yep, and there it goes. Yep. Yep. And one Search side and out the other. Marksmanship c'est magnifique. Oh, 
Oh, not a good one. Really true. Yeah, nice uh, double on heart shot on that zombie. Très bien, look out, Ursks. Captain Headshot is here. Yeah, let's make this last one a headshot. Probably gonna take the back of his head off. Nope. Uh, Actually got him to pop, that was cool. Let's see if we can nut shot this guy, because that would be kind of fun. Nope. You are a end up just lighting him on fire. I thank you. And that's okay. I'm gonna refill our ammo. Testing. Oh, thank the heavens it works. Now that's done, report to medical for med a quick kit. checkup. Then we'll see how I'm getting you to your train. Eh? Oh. No, no, we're not gonna hang out and listen to that guy gab. Yeah, none of the weapons I'm carrying right now are stock. It's actually a pretty good start for the first one. Yeah, there's a couple ways you could do better, but... Are back up and running. It's time we got you out of here. No. Head to platform five. Can go There's down here. Waiting for you there. I'm gonna play a mini game and get this to open. Uh, that, you, that will actually get you hey, an, hey. an upgrade kit. What's up, man? You come to take some pot shots at the dead man, have you? Nope. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna play hey, that mini gotcha. game. Come here. Yeah, I'm gonna come right on over here. And then we're gonna just continue on our path. That's the fourth today. Go on, you better get to that train before this whole damn train. Yeah, we're gonna switch to our Thompson because the Thompson is a lot of fun, especially once you upgrade it a little bit. No! And there we go. Yep, let him, let him, let him bunch up. And then, yeah, nice little explosion, there's bits everywhere. Yeah, this, this gun also has divine shot um, attached to it. They're holy bullets. So it does a lot more damage than the normal rounds do. And slow down time and just chop them to pieces. You can also do that and then switch your pistol. That's always really useful. Okay, get a nice little combo going. And get an execution on that and get some of our health back. <coughs> now right here you have to watch your back because they will try to attack from behind. Punch that guy, hit him with our uh, bayonet. Now, if you want to make some points, but take it easy on your, your ammo, you can always mount this gun. And mow a bunch of them down. First firing is definitely recommended for this setup. Uh, elseways, you're going to go through that ammo far too quickly. So they do have a limited number of shots on these turrets. I'm not really worrying about the combo multiplier too much. Yeah, some guys thought it, thought it was going to be cool to come down here and do that, so... <laughs> yeah, they get stomped on for their trouble. Yeah, there's an explosive there. We're going to blow that guy up. There's bits of him everywhere. Give him an extra little jab, make sure he's down. <clears throat> now refill our secondary ammo while we're just standing around. Oh, nice try, but we still missed. Let's switch to our pistol. This, this definitely puts him down. And because I've mastered the pistol, even though I'm 
not all of my shots are divine shots. And still does a considerable amount of damage. You can usually uh, double tap these guys, and that's that's sufficient to bring them down. This game's campy, but it's also an awful lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the stuff that goes on is, is definitely tongue in cheek. No time to waste. Push forward through the station and get to that train. And and we are Oscar Mike. We're on the move. Oh, it's a zombie, isn't that cute? Yep, down you go. Get stabbed in the side of the head for your trouble. <laughs> Oh look, the I'm station. gonna climb up. Yep, no you're not. Bruno, we're taking the long way round. I'll let him stand up. And I pop that explosive for humanity. Nice couple of kills there. Hmm. Quick little reload. More coming off the train! They've swarmed the platform! Not even a problem. And you'll notice that my pistol is glowing. It's actually a vial on the pistol that refills over time that gives you divine shots. And I've got one of the higher upgrades, so I get a bunch of them. Yeah, most of the time divine shots are one shot kills, but it also depends on what what type of enemy you're uh, you're up against. I'll come right over here. I'll refill our ammo, because that's what you should do. This, this guy's gonna try and charge us, so we're gonna go meet him head on. Oh, get blown up, buddy. Very nice. Another zombie trapped in here, I think. Make sure they're all really dead, and that's not just. Yeah. Yeah, these dolls are friggin' creepy. They really are. I hate those dolls. I hate them. Uh, give that guy a little, a little punch with our glove. Ooh. That's why I'll see on the, the right hand ticker tape it'll say divine kill. Because they're being killed with divine ammo. <clears throat> Divine ammo and weapons, if, if they're modified correctly, especially the um, uh, Divine Upgraded Health Pack can actually damage enemies when it's deployed, but it can also heal, heal friendlies as well. So it, it's kind of a double, double punch. It's really useful. Okay. Now it's going to burst open. We're going to have a couple guys. And eh, we're just going to feed him a grenade. Ooh, there's bits flying everywhere. Can't be fun to be them. Now yeah, it's a nice easy oh, double. That's, a blood seal. that's not good. You remember how to deal with them, yes? Destroy the dead that got it, and you'll break the seal. That guy just gets punched for his trouble. You can also, you'll notice an icon over some of the corpses. You can smash them to break them open and get ammo out of them. <clears throat> Pretty useful. Not, uh... Not a flawless system, but it can definitely help you out of a scrape if you're indeed. Very nice. Yeah, I'm going to show you a little trick here in a second. If I can get enough of these guys together. That's it. That's it. Come and get me. Okay. Activate this uh, modifier here from the pistol. There you go. Yeah. They got, they got a little bit squishy that time. <clears throat> Sean, I've turned on the old base defenses. My Crack this guy open. Get some ammo out shoot of it. it. And it'll activate the defense mechanism. Should help you out. 
Thank you, Edie. I will make sure to use them. Okay, now we're about to get a bunch of uh, multi kills here, so bear with me. Okay. Come right up here. Do not enter the building yet. Planting mine. Yeah. Plant two mines right on top of each other. Come in here so the enemies will attack. Switch over to your rifle, run all the way back here, nice and comfy. They're probably going to trigger those mines before I can line up a shot, but... There we go. Oh yeah, they go anywhere near that mine, it's, it's going to get a little messy for them. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, looks like we killed a rat while we're at it. Um... There goes a nice multi-kill for you. That's two. That's three. Uh, nice, you know, nice, uh, nice trip kill there. Yeah, get, getting multi-kills really good for your score. <clears throat> but in some cases, uh, certain weapon upgrades require you to get uh, triple kills or higher. Yeah, and the bad guys usually drop ammo and you slaughter them like that. Um, if you don't have time to crack bodies open uh, because you're surrounded, we want to get the goodies at them. Just chuck your grenade back up and just wait a sec. Now, you'll notice here it looks like some some kind of gadget. Do not shoot those if you're standing next. To them. Now you want you want to be back here. Yeah. Far away, far away from those propeller blades you can get because when you activate it. Yep, they get, they get sucked into the propeller uh, blade. Yeah. Could get a little messy for the character if they get too close. I accidentally got myself killed once doing that, so yep. Yeah. Kind of why I'm warning you now, don't do it. <laughs> that way, on top of the co-carriage. Okay. Full up on ammo, that's always good. Climb right up here. A couple bad guys will pop up there. Don't even worry about it. Just smoke, smoke them quick. The dead will pay for this desecration. Pop a grenade there and then back away. That yeah. activates one of the zap traps. Now, the zap traps are really useful for getting rid of the the larger hordes, but <clears throat> not gonna do all the work. You are, you are gonna have to put in some, I know, bad pun coming, but some leg work. Really? No. Ooh. That guy just got crossed out. That guy died, died ugly. on a pistol, so I don't have that game. Yeah, yeah these zap traps are real useful for getting rid of some of these guys, unless you want to kill them yourself. I'm just kind of throwing ammo away right now. Looks like my training is paying off. Uh, can equip now uh, whatever pistol you have with Target with a down. scope. No, I don't have a scope on my 1911 right now. Especially useful if you're trying to just get, you know, pop fly headshots and stuff. Okay. I know you're there. Come on. Yeah. All right. I didn't get a. Bruno, still can't see any survivors. 
combo out of that, but that's all right. I'll get rid of him. The most important part. <clears throat> Like I was saying, when the Thompson's done out, the, the thing is an absolute bruiser. Now, this game is, does not have to be uh, solo. You can play with up to three of your friends. You can have a running squad of four people. Now, ha having a squad is not a bad thing. <clears throat> Most of my friends aren't online right now, so recording this for you guys and uh, you know, just, just having a bit of fun. We're gonna skip that cutscene. Whoa! Suicida! Suiciders! No! More enemies approaching! Got some explodey zombies. Suicida down! Look, it's very rude to hit people you don't know. Damage myself with that explosion, but at least I got these guys off of me. This is the most important part. Yep, and if you do it, do it alright and everything, you can definitely get a good sized chunk of health back. Suicide is down. Another one. Yeah, it's always a good idea. Just kind of sit back here <clears throat> and pick them off. Switch over to our pistol now. Guy got blown up and he lost his leg. That's why he's like that. Now, come on, guys. No resurrections. You know better than that. Yeah, it could end up with six headshots if you upgrade that perk. Come and get me in yeah. Now you can, you can also uh, trick him into trying to blow up on you and a lot of times if you're quick enough they'll miss. Which can be really useful for just getting rid of them. Yeah, guess who's getting headshotted. See, now that's not very nice. There you go. The return of the suiciders is a great for standing back up. This war is not yet over. Uh, you'll speak only when spoken to. Yeah, in, in a group, this this game is a ton of fun. Uh, all by yourself, it's not that bad either. Um. Now these workbenches, if you have upgrade points, are really, really useful. New high score, nice. Yeah, and we're well on our way to being a rank 49. It's always Just something cool. HQ. Almost all fortified positions are reporting surprise attacks. This is not an isolated incident. It's a coordinated assault. I haven't even need to use my uh, but how did this happen? my med kit yet. Where did they come from? Who's controlling them? I don't know. Yeah, also, because every, every time you use a, uh, an execution we move, then we can start asking questions. it uh, gives you back a Get portion of your health. Squad. HQ needs you ready for action. 
Mm, we got some zombies feasting down there. Well, we're, we're about to ruin their little buffet. I'm gonna chop that guy's legs off. Maybe not. And sometimes when they're in proximity from uh, the burn, they'll just burn up too. It's always nice when that happens. Means I can kill a bunch of them in one, uh, one simple move. Sometimes it saves me ammo, other, other times it doesn't. No, that ought to be a double, uh, unless I screwed it up. Ooh. That was nice. Nope, single, that's alright. Come on, come on, come on. Step right in the line, step right in the line, come on. Nope, another heart shot, I guess. You guys are getting absolutely flattened right now. Yeah, you know, the guys coming up out of these grates. Get, give them a quick little zap. Oh, look at me. I'm coming to get you. It's like, mm, no, you're not. Oh, your character starting out does take a bunch more damage. Uh, but I also have perks in place that uh, reduce my melee damage. Because that's usually what most of these guys do. Is that uh, melee damage. For the most part. Thank you, ED. I'll make sure to use them. Come on, guys. Come on up. Come get it. And here we go. Oh. A little bit squishy. Yeah, that guy's getting executed. Damn. <laughs> she showed that particular zombie no mercy. It's yeah. Dark. Having uh, dark electrical pickups Hold is always on. cool. Weapon ready. Yeah, most of the weapons you get, you can equip them with uh, flammable uh, upgrades. Here's where you can set up group of zombies on fire. It's good for your multiplier. Yeah. Now, oh, come, come on now. What I tell you people about resurrections. And here we go. Switch over to our sub gun real quick. Mow those guys down. And make sure they don't. Oops. Let's say you're making sure they don't revive, but that guy did. I got stabbed in the back and, and I got stabbed through the neck too. That's pretty rough. Yeah, another good way to keep them from resurrecting if they're still down is to stomp on them. Because that completely destroys the corpse and keeps them from uh, reanimating. Rather nasty trick they can use. Pass over the bridge and you'll be on platform five. The train is waiting at the signal house. <laughs> Kaboom. And those guys get taken out in a nice fiery explosion. And we are gonna have two suiciders coming down. Not really a problem. Take the first one out and he ends up knocking his buddy off, so. Yeah. This one's gonna bust open. Pop 
pop a grenade right over there. Hello. Oh. You see that? He just the guy just went completely to pieces. Hey, no. over here. Help us. Now what I'm doing is kind of dangerous, but. Slow down time. Get right in here and defend these guys because you can usually get uh, an upgrade kit and a hat for your trouble. And upgrade kits are worth more than their weight in gold. They allow your weapons to get stronger and they push you one step one step closer to weapon mastery. That's why my pistols are so strong, because I've, I've reached mastery with pistols. So they they generate a, a boatload of damage. Done for. I know it's not yep. much, but, but please. And there's take a safe me. you can open. You, you can take a hat. I thank you. And there's Wait an electrical upgrade, which as far away as you put on your uh, Thompson. Yep, yep. stomp on these bodies. Disgusting, but it'll get you more ammo. And uh, make sure you check every place. Uh, just to be sure, because they like to hide uh, weapon upgrade kits all over the damn place. Bruno, I'm skip that. And it's with lava. Lava. Uh, two more. You can only carry four of any one type of grenade. It lim limits you to that. There we go. Multi kill. Ooh. No sub multi kill. That's for humanity. Got some guys coming out of the ground. Well, that, that's gonna end pretty quick. Okay, here I go. Chunks of them everywhere. Now these guys like to start charging down here. Yeah, best bet if you've got it prepared, activate your slow mo and then just lean right into them. And yeah, now gonna be a couple guys coming up from the edge here. This guy a little zap. Disgusting. Yeah, they are gonna try to trap you like that. Oh yeah. I also forgot to mention, you get, uh, you got a slight ammo boost when you, uh, use an execution move as well. Can't believe I almost forgot to tell you guys that. Get your head spun around. Get your gift for coming back from the dead. A hole. The dead are falling from above. Yep. How do they get up there? There we go. We got some zombies way up on the bridge here. Kind of funny to watch them fall off and land on their faces, but yep. oh, let some of them I'll gather around, gather around. Oh, here we go. Okay, I threw that off the edge, but game said I didn't. That's fine. You know, the guy in the corner is not there anymore. That's for sure. You know, guys that like to come out of this hole here, just let them have it. Yeah, yeah make it sure you shoot them until it explodes. Usually your best bet. Keep them from coming back. Chop their heads off, too. Try using your pistol at divine shot, really. That can save you from some trouble. Let them get all gathered up in a bunch. Of this. 
keep firing until they disappear. Here you are. Stomp on this guy just to make myself feel better. Make sure he isn't going to get back up, because that's a pain in the ass when they do that. Oh, not going to do that. It's, you know, boing. There you go. Yep, get electrocuted for your trouble, dumbass. Pour off the top. If you can you know, pop a couple of them, you can fill your meter and keep most of them from coming down. They're basically gonna hold them off to uh, get that blood seal to crack. That one last guy. Oop. And his head kind of exploded, so... Good. Come in here, get some grenades. Can't really do anything with them, but there's a rat there. It's always good to shoot those. And it's also a stash of shotgun shells, if you're using a shotgun. I haven't messed with shotguns too much right now, but that doesn't mean I won't. All right. Now we're also going to use this glowing box to get us an upgrade, because we're going to have to deal with a uh, flamer in a second. No. No. Got with a flame backpack. No. 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 And that's it. He's, he's all done. Now, because we have the high ground, we're also much stronger than most of these enemies. We're going we're to park our little butts right on over here. And that's going to take it nice and easy. Not even a problem. Oh, no, it's a suicider. Okay. It's not like we haven't seen them before. Kind of a shooting gallery over here. You get a nice combo uh, for the uh, end of the chapter score from here too, so. Definitely a good, good place to uh, break out your pistol. Goes another suicider. Yeah, usually the marker you can tell if they're actually dead because it'll it'll flash red. Yeah, double tap to the chest usually work, but they aren't guaranteed. Because you gotta remember, these, these guys are coming back from the dead, so. Alright. Jump and get, a, get ourselves a little bit of headshot goodness here. Oh no, I've only got a couple of rounds left. What am I gonna do? Not a problem. Switch to third person, do not use the scope. Let's get a distance because elsewhere you give yourself tunnel vision, and that's really not a good idea. And that has the end of that chapter into the very first chapter in this game. Yeah, is, is it a lot to take in? Sure, but it's a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, nice. <laughs> Actually set a new high score for that one, too. 
Well, we are now rank 49. Always feels good when you rank up. Dead Canal's the next one, but I think you guys have uh, been awesome sticking with me through this very first chapter of Zombie Army 4, Dead War. I thank you guys very, very much for stopping by and watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And as always, I have been your host. It wasn't Glass just Milan. Bases have Death been going Club. dark all over Europe. Thanks for stopping Mom by, and I'll talk to you guys soon.